Hey, it's Jack here. I'm back with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be back with another tutorial. And today we're making a channel art banner for you guys' a YouTube channel on a application called Pixelmator. Here's how it will look. So if you like it, keep watching. Maybe hit that like button or subscribe button for more content like this on Pixelmator, Final Cut Pro, and After Effects. And let's get... Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is actually get um, a template for your uh, YouTube channel banner. Now, let me show you how to do this. So first, you just want to go on to YouTube. And from here, you can go to your channel. Uh, right on the top right here. And click Customize Channel. And then... Uh, click on this pencil icon and click edit channel art and click on this link on to how to create channel art scroll down until you find uh, get images for channel art uh, yeah the image size and file guidelines uh, and click on this uh, link for channel art templates and it'll download a uh, little folder with a two channel art um, templates, one as a PNG, normal picture file, and one as a Photoshop file. Um, uh, you can use either for Pixelmator, because Pixelmator actually supports a uh, Photoshop file, um, but um, I'm going to be using the PNG. So just take it and drag it onto your Pixelmator, just like that, and you'll be confronted with the template. So. What we're going to be doing here is pretty much blocking off this TV maximum thing. We won't be needing it. Um, we just need uh, this dark, darkest gray part right there. Um, you can actually go all the way out to the to this part, these parts right here. But then on a mobile device, it'll be uh, minimized just this. So it might look a bit weird, but I actually have it on full to uh look the best that it can be um it's your preference you can do actually whatever you want but i'm going to be doing for this example just this area all right so to block it off you're going to want to go over to your tool se uh selection thing and get this square or rectangular uh selection thing and just um uh select off this first part then go up to edit and fill. It can be any color, it doesn't matter. Um, and then you do the same for this part. Uh, do Command D for deselect if you make a mistake, like I just did. Oh. <laughs> yep, and just put it right up to that line. And then you can do. Uh, shift command F to do uh, the same filter you last did which was a fill but you can just go up and do fill again if you want so now you have masked off the area where you want so now we're going to create a background so we're going to go up to our layers and click new layer if you don't see your layers just go up to view uh, show layers but it's already shown so you can do high uh it's high layers oh um yeah so to do that you can also do command two on your keyboard and for effects it's command three okay so um for me i'm gonna choose to do a gradient you can just do a solid color if you want but um i'm gonna choose to do a gradient so here are some presets i have um Pixelmator comes with these little presets, and they're nice, um, but I made these new ones. So, to make a new gradient, you just right-click right here and click Add Gradient, like that. And then you can click on these little guys and adjust the colors that you want. So, say you want it to go from red to green like this. You just go to your gradient tool and, you know, do that. Uh, but... Uh, I don't want that and also you can click here and add new uh, little selection guys to have tons of colors kind of like this rainbow one but 
for this uh, example, I'm just going to be doing a, a green one. And you can also adjust whether or not you want a linear color change, a radial color change, or an, even an angular color change. But my favorite is definitely radial. So just go over here to your gradient, or actually your rectangular tool, because we want the gradient to go right, only right in this selected portion. So just select the area where you want the gradient. Sometimes it takes a mist, I guess. Um, yeah, so once you've selected roughly the area where you want to do it and you have your new layer, go over to your gradient and apply it by pressing down and dragging. So there's that. There's the background done. And uh, yeah, so there's the background. So we can rename this uh, BG for background. And I'll rename, rename this one template. Like so, and we can deselect it by doing Command D on our keyboard. Next, we want to add some text, so just drag out a bit of text and make sure it's on top of your background, like so. And uh, write your name, so uh, I'll just write tutorial for this one. And uh, choose your font. Um, if you guys don't know how to download fonts, just go to your browser, type in uh, defont.com, just like so. And here you can download tons of cool fonts for your banners and logos. Uh, right now it won't load for me, but I don't know why. But you know, you can click there, click download. You'll go into your downloads folder, and what you would do is go into the here's one go into the folder or the thing and then click on one of them and install font I've already installed it so I'm not gonna do that but you guys get it so uh, yeah tutorial and then adjust the sizing to your liking it's like so uh, um, and yeah so uh, to transform it, um, just do Command F. You can rotate it however you want, resize it with ease, proportionally, you know, simple things like that. And uh, yeah, uh, so now you have your main text. Um, if you want to make an outline, I'm going to show you how All right now. So go up to your layers and hold down command on your keyboard and click on the little thumbnail by your text right there. And it'll select your text like that. You'll go up to edit and click refine selection, just like so. And take your expand and level it up to around 10%. Uh, I think the highest you would want to go is 20. I don't think you would go up more than that but if you want a really bubbly I think I think 30 would be like most uh, the highest you can go but it's up to you I'm gonna do 20 or yeah I'm gonna do 10 eh, I'll do 20 for the tutorial uh, yeah and then you can adjust this if you'd like I'm not going to but that's what it does. So now you have this outline selected. Um, you'll have to go over to the bucket tool and then choose the color you want for your outline. I'll just choose black for simplicity. You can also do this with gradients, which I'll show you in a sec. You have to click to add layer and it'll add the layer and then you would fill this with black. And you might be wondering, Jack, this is not an outline. This is just a stupid text well just go to your top layer here and make sure it's under your text and there you go you have this really nice looking um, outline on your text now to do this with gradients uh, um, mm, 
you would do the same thing with the selecting. Go to a gra your gradient tool, choose the gradient you want. I'll use this one for simplicity. I'm going to choose radial. And then you would just drag, just like so, just like um, the bucket, and move the layer below, and there you go. Got uh, your tutorial text or whatever text um, outline that you want. So that's how you outline text. All right, um, so we're getting through this. Um, the next step um, was would to be add your subtitle. You don't, and then you would like do whatever your your channel's about or your schedule. So like from Mondays, uh, uh, Monday or like Mondays and Fridays every week. This is an example. You can. You can do whatever the heck you want. It's your channel art. But yeah. Um, and yeah, so you can put that there. You can do the same thing with the outline if you want. I'm gonna show you how to make it look like your thing, uh, your um, text is glowing. Okay. So I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make your text glow uh, really quick here. Um, after I show you how to merge layers. So. So you can see the outline layer and the tutorial text layer are separate. To make that one layer, just hold command on your keyboard, click here, not on the picture, but here, and you'll select both. And then just right click and click merge layers. Now it's one layer, so that's helpful. All right, so back to this text. You want to duplicate it twice. So one, two, sometimes once is enough. And go to your effects. Remember, Command 3 shows your effects. And type in motion. And as you can see, it won't let me go in text. So it's kind of annoying, but you have to right click and click convert to pixels to make it uh, be able to have effects. Now you can drag on it and turn the radius all the way up. And then you can adjust the angle of the thing if you want. I'm just going to keep it at zero. Then here, on the second one, you're going to want to convert it to pixels as well. And we're going to go with a Gaussian blur this time. And radius depends, but I like going with around 20 to 25. Uh, yeah. And then make sure this the original text is on top of everything. And yeah, so now you can just move it around to your liking like so and then you can go to this one uh, press command F to transform this solely or just just this to transform so you don't click anything else and then you can go on this one command F put it over this and now as you can see it looks like kind of like your text is glowing you don't have to have the Gaussian blur, the motion is pretty much the only one that makes sense. But once you do this, um, you can't change your text, so make sure your text, the original text is how you like it, and then you can just merge all these layers for simplicity. Alright, so we're pretty close to being done. I mean, this already looks pretty good, but you need a signature image for it. So all you need to do is get some clip art, anything really. Um, get some clip art or make clip art for this. To, um, for this, I'm just gonna take some image I have here. Say you're a Nerf channel or something. I don't know. Any image you want and just put it in here. Make sure it's below everything, but above the background that's the way I like it you can change that if you want so there's a couple of things you can do for like a dart you could put it like this I think that's pretty cool and you could have it like that um the way I I do it um, I like to do is just have have it like this uh, through my text. Sometimes it's kind of cool to have it overlapping. Other times you can just minimize it all the way down like that. And yeah, add your clip art. 
Um, do whatever you want with it. It's really up to you. Um, but, yeah, have fun with it, you know? Like, Life Scout. Sick. Yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of, oh, sorry, that's kind of the basics, um, of doing this kind of stuff. Uh, another thing you can do is get... Okay, so um, another thing you can do is um, get an image like, uh, say you have a Twitter, and bring it in like this. Yeah, so I have the Twitter here, and then you can just resize it to however you want. Obviously, this is rough. You guys can play around with it. If it's transparent like this, you can take the bucket tool and fill it in. And then you move it around just like that. Alright, so I've customized it a bit to look a bit better. Um, just some random channel art kind of thing. And the final thing that you would do, sorry, I forgot to record this part. But the final thing that you would want to do is go back to your template and actually um, delete the like the previous like stuff here um, that you had. Um, so I mean, this isn't hard. You just have to select everything and delete it, obviously. Um, so it's pretty simple. Just delete it all like that. And then you would go back to your gradient and stuff. You go back to your background and just uh, redo it like this. And yeah, this is how you want your final image. And then once you've done that, then you would go up to file export and export as a JPEG like so. I'll just go with that. And yeah, that's how you can get a really sick channel art. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, thank you for watching, uh, please click like if you did, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys with the next one, goodbye.